The mattress factory was lit, pun intended. Upon entering, I was welcomed by an awesome light arrangement by Ian Brill. It's not motion activated, so don't be like me, dancing around trying to make it light up in different spots, unless you just want to dance. The MF is made up of three buildings, and even the elevator is its own exhibit. I checked out Greer Langton's permanent exhibit entitled, It's All About Me, Not You. Greer was an individual who struggled with identity and did a great job expressing that through creating lifelike dolls. Unfortunately, Greer died of an overdose after the original opening of this exhibit in 96. But thanks to the mattress factory, the legacy lives on. Now this next exhibit by Yayoi Kusama required shoe coverings to prevent dirt buildup. The first room I entered was entitled Infinity Dots Mirrored Room and the name speaks for itself. I felt like I was at a carnival. The next room was entitled Repetitive Vision. Hey y'all. The mannequins had great facial features. This piece really spoke to me. In The Great Illusion, Mohammed Musalam expressed how, as a Palestinian, he was denied the free mobility his passport is supposed to provide, hence the barbed wire with entangled passports. I took it a step further. I perceived the barbed wire as the mind. The only true thing keeping one from experiencing life is what one thinks, hence The Great Illusion. But wait, there's more. Off to the next building. For this next exhibit, Dennis M. went all out. A second home encompassed all three floors in the second building. I traveled through what seemed to be a representation of someone's mind. There was a ton of unfinished art. As I entered each floor, the house got darker, the music changed, and the eeriness of the exhibit began to get under my skin. Still, beauty lied in the mist. Now for the grand finale. Robots that located outer space debris. Once tracked, they rotated in the direction where the debris was. Cool, huh? Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't really understand the artist's scope for this exhibit, but I was totally pleased with the aesthetic. I mean, who doesn't love gold? Last but definitely not least is Kevin Clancy's exhibit, Iris Siri. In my own words, this exhibit surrounds the internet's ever-presence. The web plays a tremendous role in our perception of self and socialization. The irony is that I loved how walking in this room made me feel alive. Not to mention that I love cats. Mattress Factory goes down as number one in my faves list. I loved how the MF reached beyond traditional canvas art to allow visitors the ability to feel a part of each installation. But that's the purpose of art, to feel a connection. Until next time. <laughs>